Mexicano, I'm working like a Mexicano. New persona, I'm moving off from Ferragamo. Get the llama, I put it with the real Madonna. Beat the odds, do numbers, and remain humble. Hey guys, we're gonna jump right into this video. I got this Afro Kinky Curly wig from Hanny on Amazon. It was $33 and I got it in a color one. The wig came with two combs in the front and one comb in the back and adjustable straps. It came in two days because it has Amazon Prime. And as you can see, I'm showing you the shipping box on the left. And right here on the left, I am showing you the style that I was trying to achieve. I did it on a client and I loved it so much. I really wanted that wet Rihanna Wild Thought style, but it ended up being a fail. But don't worry, I end up ended up finessing it at the end of it. It came with an automatic right side side part, but I'm not a right side part person, so I switched it over to the left. Right here, I'm just um, creating kind of like a stencil for myself when I take off the wig and cut it, just so I can see where I want um, the length to be, so that when I take it off. I won't make any mistakes. Right here, I'm going in and plucking where the part was originally. So here's where things got complicated. I super saturated this wig with water and then I went in and brushed it so that I can get the wet look. But for some reason, this wig did not take the brushing. Um, it did not want to cooperate. It just got tangled and matted and fluffy and huge and it didn't work out. I tried to put leave-in conditioner. I tried to run my fingers through it. As you can see, I tried to pick it with the comb. Um, nothing worked and everything just made it worse. So I got frustrated and just cut off all the dead matted tangled ends that I had created. And then I took Eco Styler gel and I took strands individually and just saturated it with gel and tried to bring the curl patterns back to life. And this helped it out a lot. It didn't get back to the original curly, the original curl pattern Pattern, but it did blend and make the wig look so much better at this point I was just trying to go in and finesse this wig so I was just shaping it on my head you can tell I'm frustrated because I didn't even bother taking the wig off um, I was just shaping it to my face and just seeing what I can create out of it And here is a trick if you are trying to get poofier hair flip your head over and pick it out it just creates the perfect mane when you flip your head over look at that so much volume makes a wig look so much better always flip your head over it makes a huge difference don't just do it at the top make sure you do it at the bottom that's what creates the volume so right here, I'm just going in with my foundation, but I really didn't need foundation. This wig took the my skin color pretty good and I did not bleach the knots and you couldn't see the knots. As long as you just pluck the part and add a little bit of foundation over it, the wig blends in flawlessly. So right here is the end result. I actually really, really like the outcome of it. Um, I just tried to play around with it, fluff it around with my hands. But one thing about this wig that's a con is clearly, as you guys saw, you can't brush it or pick it out, put water on it. It just somehow makes it worse. So if you are someone who doesn't like the fresh out of the box curls, you're just going to have to wait for the wig to get old over time or kind of use your hands a little bit. Other than that, um, I do like this wig. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Yeah, uh, 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 baby, let's